High B economics essay writing can be made very easy. The essay title is Explain why an economy may wish to reduce its rate of unemployment. Now, before we go into the details of the essay, let's go through the daily rule, which applies to all 10 marks essay. So we need definitions, analysis, diagrams, and examples for every 10 marks essay. We usually include the definitions in the introduction and the rest in the body paragraphs. Now in the introduction, let's first define the key terms. What do you think would be the key terms in this essay? Right, it's the rate of unemployment. So therefore we should define what is meant by unemployment. Unemployment is defined as people who are out of work, but are willing and able to work and are actively seeking work. And the unemployment rate is calculated by the number of unemployed over the total labor force multiplied by 100%. Full employment is one of the macroeconomic objectives. Secondly, we shall be able to answer the question in one to two sentences. So why is it the case that economy may wish to reduce its unemployment rate? It is because that unemployment could bring some cost to the economy. An economy may wish to reduce its unemployment rate because of the economic and social cost associated with unemployment. Great, now we have a good introduction. To move on to the body paragraphs, if we recall from the introduction that we have talked about the economic and the social cost that could arise due to a high unemployment. So therefore we can dedicate the body paragraphs to talk about the potential cost. So economic cost of unemployment includes the loss of real GDP, meaning that resources are not fully utilized. Well, we can use a diagram to illustrate the idea, meaning that B is anywhere along the PPC curve. It means that the economy is operating at full employment. And when resources are not fully utilized, it means that the actual output is at a point within the PPC, for example, like point A where there could be high unemployment. Secondly, the economic cost could, could be the loss of individual income. Due to the lack of job, individuals receive less or no income, and that will hamper the standard of living. Thirdly, government loss of tax revenue. As government cannot collect tax from individuals that do not have jobs, they will receive less tax revenue. And lastly, that would be cost of unemployment benefits. Given that people do not have jobs, they might receive unemployment benefits from the government, and this would increase the financial burden of the government. Now, in this paragraph, we can talk about the social cost of unemployment. So what are some of the social costs of unemployment? It includes the increased stress levels for both the individuals and the households. Of course, we need to elaborate more why would it increase the stress levels for both the individuals and the households. For example, if the person does not have a job, they might have lower self-esteem, and that could cause higher level of stress. And also, if the person does not have a job, they might impact the household overall income, and the households might worry about their finances, and hence increase the overall stress level for the households. Secondly, that could be the increase in crime rate. Given that a person or the households have less income, they might resort to stealing in order to get some level of finance. Thirdly, that would be lack of updated skills. So basically, we are not fully utilizing the resource here, and also the person might not be able to be equipped with the most updated skills. And also the skills that they have acquired already might decline over time due to the fact that they have not practiced because of unemployment. So in here, we don't have to use particular economic diagrams to explain, but what we can do is to use some real-life examples. If you find this video helpful, give us a like, make a comment, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.